Welcome everyone to a new video on LangChain. So we all know LangSmith has been launched and for beginners how you can use this technology is amazing. Go to LangChain.com and once you go to LangChain.com you can do the sign up here. Once you do the sign up uh, you will be coming to this particular page. Uh, some of you may not have access to this as well you will or uh, if you don't have you may put yourself uh, on waiting list. So these are some of the projects that are there data sets and testing is there and annotation queues are there these are little bit for the llm developers but as a user you can start you around uh, and i will quickly show you how so when you go to hub home so hub home has uh, prompts that are there <coughs> some of them are uh, technical about rag super agent but one i wanted you to introduce uh, prompt maker and this is wonderful very very simple to convert lazy prompts to proper prompts by giving few shots so click here try it uh, opening the playground before we start using this application you need to do two things you need to make sure that your api key is uh, coming in so how to get your api key go to openai.com and set up your key, uh, key from the settings and then put it here you require an open ai api key to use this particular playground so once this is done you are using the model chat open ai uh, uh, models that are available few free models are available right now i'm using chat open ai which is a good uh, thing i can i can also use the latest chat gpt uh, for turbo as well uh, and uh, these are some of the things that you can play around with it i have talked to you about the different parameters in my lot of videos about uh, temperature the creativity that is there max length top p frequency penalty presence penalty so I'm keeping it very default right now. I'm keeping a normal temperature and task. Now I'll take a task and I will go and show you how I'm going to do this particular thing, right? So this, as you can see, your, the system prompt is you are an expert prompt writer for large language model. And these are the things that people are going to go. And this is the instructions that you are going to give from the task and the lazy prompts, which I'm going to show you. And then you're going to get the improved prompt that is here in the output. So as an example, what I can do is I can just do a task like generate a LinkedIn post on vector databases. So this is something that is uh, very important right now that is going on vector databases. So now what we can do is this is the thing lazy prompt is uh, you are a uh, 19 years experienced data scientist uh, then uh, formal value and uh, personal experience so these are some of the lazy prompts let's try out and see how it comes uh, professional LinkedIn with proper CTA to join community and a um, good hook good hook so let us see how it goes uh, what is vector write a portion of vector databases for large language models let us see how it takes your identity as a data scientist and uh, give let us see how it goes and then we can always tweak it and make it better so as a data scientist experience draft a compelling uh, so now you can see the detail the detail prompt that is there and it is giving the example structure as well conclusion as well so we will just try to show this uh, thing uh, so the prompt that we have given if you can see the task and the lazy prompt and the the way it has generated a huge and big prompt that is there right uh, and you can take the same prompt go to uh, our favorite chat gpt and see how is the particular output that is coming in so this big this big uh, thing it is taking the introduction it is taking the body and it is taking the thing so this becomes very very personalized that is there so it is giving us the introduction it, we need to remove the headings that's for sure but uh, 
this is much much better so what we have done you can see the playground and you can see the the details that is there that uh, we have done uh, we can control the different different parameters and we can uh, play around with it and look with it so this is one of the basic examples to use from playground to put an input as a task uh, and lazy prompt and then get an output that you can use for your daily work and that you can keep this you can save this and uh, you can just change this particular thing uh, the topic or you can just come here and you can uh, do this so you can also save as an example you can save this as an example as well and you can bookmark this and you can come again and you can play around with this so this is a very quick way this uh, specifically langsmith to create your prompt templates for your work uh, i have used it for couple of projects also where i am developing the prompt template i use this application and i play around with this so thank you very much and see you in the next video